Hey guys, it's me, um, Pam, and I wanted to just uh, let you know a little update on how things are going here after almost uh, two weeks of being home. I'm doing all right, I guess. <laughs> some days are up, some days are down. Here's the old, uh, you know, leg area. It's doing all right, I guess. A little swollen because I haven't been... Uh, keeping it up like uh, on here like I should. I've been just letting it dangle and you're not supposed to do that. So I've got this thing on today. I had to move it down a little bit to be able to open the door to get a little scenery of outside. I let the dog out and I'm waiting for her to come back. I think I see her up there. I can't really tell. She doesn't listen when she's loose sometimes. She just like stays up there. Zoe? I don't know. She'll be back, I hope. She usually does. I can see up here in the field that it's, uh, the snow's gone away up there. But we still have some here and ice in the driveway, apparently, is a half of a sheet of ice, or half of the driveway is a sheet of ice, sorry. Bob's out right now, running errands, uh, grumbling you know he doesn't want to I don't know he just he gets up and he's got these chores to do and uh, I feel bad for him that some things I just can't do like he'll feed the dogs okay here's Zoe here she is come here girl come on in and then uh, he's got to clean up uh, Jasmine's crate because she usually messes in her crate and he's not too happy about that he gets kind of you know, been over sh about uh, having to do all that kind of stuff. And then he's got to get his, his cereal or yogurt or whatever he has for breakfast. And sometimes he can't get around to that for a little bit because he's doing all these chores and stuff. All right. Well, anyway, um, yeah, I've had my up days, up days, and I've had my down days. The hardest thing, two couple things. Is having to go to the bathroom not in the bathroom <laughs> on a commode or a bedpan I've got these old-fashioned I don't even know where they are now bedpans that I use uh, at night and then I've got a commode in the um, living room of all places which is kind of degrading while I'm sitting on that thing when uh, you know he's watching television or something I'm just gonna close the door all right, let's see. Guess it is closed. All right, because the sunspots are making the video kind of messed up. All right, I'm heading back in the kitchen now. Going down the hill. Whee! And Zoe and I are in here. Keeping things going. Jasmine's outside in the kennel. Um, yeah, I can't put the dogs out. I can't get out there to do it. And, uh... Can't get into the bathroom to use the bathroom so because there's a step down and it's too narrow for me to get the wheelchair through besides even if i got in there i don't know that i could go to the toilet because of the distance of the toilet and the shower so anyways i've got my little office right here at part of the kitchen table because i can't get into my office the same sort of deal the uh Wheelchair is too big for the doorway. Like I said, I've had my days of being really distraught. Not so much over the, I guess it is over the leg, not being able to get around. But over being cooped up in here. And uh, just all kinds of stuff uh, that go through my mind. Um... He's doing the copies today to send in to hopefully we'll be get some help for insurance because I don't have any. But uh, the government's on strike, I guess, still at the moment. So I don't know. That's a government agency. Of course, you know. <laughs> I was hoping to shortly be able to get my pro measured and my prost you know, prosthetic leg so I can learn to get around. Which would mean that I would go back to rehab again. But again, I would need insurance to do so. 
and uh, I would you know hope that that would work out if it doesn't I don't know what our next route is to, to be truthful with you I really don't know what to do and where we would turn nobody has that kind of money and uh, you know it's like uh, what if they don't help out you know we can't pay on our own we don't have it we don't have any insurance to do that he's got social security so that's a, a real worry and bummer you know it's like the not knowing thing i'm not crazy about going back to rehab i'll tell you the truth with that too but again i'd have to be able to get out uh we i'm look, looking into like a little ramp thing to be able to get the wheelchair down the steps the two little steps there and uh you know, that might take a week and then I'd have to get, get be able to get out of here and get into our car. Or if my daughter would come up and pick me up, you know, and take me down for the visit, that would be a help also. But I would have to go down to Dixon City where uh, the prosthesis uh, guy is or prosthetic guy, whatever you call him, um, to get, you know, all that kind of thing taken care of. The other day, my friend Larry, he's a double amputee. He came by for lunch. We invited him for lunch. He's a digging friend of mine. We dig bottles together. And that guy's amazing. He can get down and... He says it's hard to get up, but he gets down and, and digs in the dirt. And and uh, he still goes out to yard sales and stuff and gets bottles. I got a few off of him the other day that I'm trying to uh, to sell trying to get back to doing that again since I've been home and it was nice having a visit with him he was only here a couple hours but uh and then yesterday my friend Sally stopped by which was nice she stopped by to visit just briefly and I really appreciate the visits you know not too many people come around but you know it is nice if and when they do my dog's barking. I don't know if anybody's here or not. If they are, um, good luck to getting up the driveway. So I'm just showing you a little of my kitchen while I'm talking here. I really, really am hoping and looking forward to getting out and uh, digging this year again. In spite of this uh, handicap detour here. It would be really nice to do so, and I'm looking. I, I'm my goal is to get out and metal detect and bottle dig, as before. Maybe doing it a little differently, but at least getting out to do it. So we'll see. But I just want to share a little with you guys and let you know how I'm doing, and I'll be doing updates periodically here and and posting them. Thanks for caring about me and the kind words and everything. Um. I am a little envious when I see people that are getting out or being able to, um, uh, you know, be a, um, a, a sponsor or whatever for the different uh, metal detecting groups. I so much wanted to do that. That was one of my dreams. But now with, uh, with this, I probably couldn't get down like I would need to. So I am envious. I just want you guys to know that I'm envious. But I will be out bottle digging and metal detecting somehow, some way, one way or the other. Um, you know, I'll uh, I'll do it. And I'm determined to. And I know my friend Larry, when he was almost on his deathbed, um, bottle digging kept him uh, wanting to keep going on and uh, and getting better. And then he was bottle digging and he's been an amputee with uh, his artificial legs or prosthetic legs for um, over 12 years now. And like I said, he gets around okay. He's got, you know, his ups and downs too, and uh, sometimes he gets disgusted. But that's understandable. Well, I'm not going to run on here and make this so too, too long, but thanks for watching and, um, and uh, listening to me and spending time with me here on YouTube. Talk to you soon.